Alrighty folks, Dana Rubino here with Windows Phone Central and today we're going to focus a little bit here on Samsung's exclusive apps. Uh, this is the TVS of course and Samsung kind of doesn't get enough credit sometimes for their apps. Some of these were updated this week and they're really nice. We'll start off here with the first one, RSS Times, which is a Google Reader. Now of course a lot of you guys may not use Google Reader but a lot of people actually do and this is actually a pretty gorgeous app. Uh, you log into your account, you give it permission, and it pulls down the articles, and it's actually formatted very nicely. It uh, focuses very much on typography, and of course you can scroll through, and it pulls down all your stories. Uh, if you want to tap on it, it'll do this. It'll do this little nice little loading screen, and it will bring up any article that basically comes up. Uh, of course, with Google Reader, you put in your feeds that you want, and it will then you know bring you down those articles you can tap the little arrow up there and you can sort of pick different sections or specific feeds that you want to pull into and we'll tap this article here and bring it down I'll show you kind of how it formats so this one's a little crazy here with but you can see how it overlays the text with the images which actually kind of gives a nice uh, look to things it's actually pretty stylish. You got to give Samsung some credit here. Uh, you kind of wish they applied the same aesthetic styling to their phones, which are a little bland in my opinion. But overall, it's a pretty sharp app. Uh, you can go into settings here, add search feed, refresh all articles. This app also, as you saw, has a double wide tile, flips around, gives you the latest information. It also has a lock screen integration, so it'll pull down the latest image and put on your lock screen. And you can have lock screen detailed information which will presumably show you the latest story. So that is all pretty cool stuff from Samsung uh, for RSS times. And it's, like I said, it's a really gorgeous app. The other one's called Mini Diary. And as you can see, this is actually also has been updated and it's actually really nice as well. So I have a recent entry here. You can sort by date, location. I'm in Huntington, New York today. Uh, here's your photo, voice, drawing, and settings. And so what you do, you pull up your latest entry and it can show you where you are and it'll bring you up on a little map. You can add a little drawing, which I think, yeah, I'll tap and it can bring that up. So you can actually add multiple drawings. They'll show up there. You can add a photo. It'll bring you down the weather and the time. And of course you can put any notes and anything else you want with it. And then you can sort of share the information. What made this version actually pretty nice is it has SkyDrive backup now. So you can sort of save all your diaries to the cloud in case you switch devices or you're just worried about them. You can also of course <laughs> restore. And the other option that they added was the ability to have password support. So you can protect this whole thing with a simple password, which is kind of nice. As you saw as well, it too gets a double wide tile and it updates with whatever the latest entry you have. And so that's kind of nice. Uh, photo editor has been updated actually in a little while. Photo editor, if you haven't seen it before, actually is a pretty solid photo editing app. Um, you can bring up images here and you can see it actually is a fairly robust editor. You can do all sorts of things like edit here. Here's your cropping, rotation. You can go into effects and you can sort of scroll through and there's quite a lot of choices there. Perhaps almost too many choices. And then here's all your contrast, saturation, all those changes. And it works well. Uh, you know, you can make an argument that the TVS camera isn't the best out there compared to say Nokia's Lumia 920, but it actually does shoot very well during the day. And it's a great photo editor. Finally, the new app that was just added is Diodict. Uh, also known as Collins Dictionary, whatever you want to call it. It's supposed to be a Chinese English dictionary, but for me, it just seems like a, a normal dictionary. You can have flashcards here. Here's your history. You can bring up an entry. I can tap the screen there. And you can see you got your whole entry right there. This is a completely offline dictionary. It has about 300,000 words to it, and it's pretty robust. You can do all sorts of little different options down here. Flashcards, history, settings, help. Uh, not much in settings, you can sort of change the font, the way it looks. But it's uh, one of the first Windows Phone 8 dictionaries. It doesn't really do anything specific with Windows Phone 8 per se, but it is uh, supposedly optimized more for it. And you can see it is very quick and fast to use. So that's a quick tour of some of the major Samsung apps. There are actually other ones out there, including ones that will auto-update your lock screen with photos from your photo gallery. 
and a few others. But these are sort of the, the big highlights that have just been updated recently. And I got to give Samsung credit. These are pretty nice apps and, you know, kudos to them for doing it. But there you go. Take care, everybody.